Hey guys, it's House of Aces bringing you another Epic Deck Profile Tuesday. So the deck I'm profiling today is my Royal Paladin uh, version 2.1. I made a few changes since the last time I showed you this deck. So uh, let me explain them for you. I run Barco as your starting vanguard. Uh, I think every Royal Paladin deck will run Barco right now. He's the best starting vanguard in, in the game right now. Uh, when you ride this unit, you move it to rear guard, and once he's in rear guard, you can rest this unit, switch your deck for a Flogel or a future Knight Lou. So, this card is really broken because you're gonna be able to ride to grade 2 every time unless your opponent stops you. And there are ways of getting around it, but uh, he is the best uh, starting Vanguard by far. So, in this deck, I run 6 critical still, uh, 2 Espona, and 4 Lou's. You can do it the other way around where you run 4 Espona and 2 Lose. It's about personal preference and if you want to save some money. I run 2 Flogel, your standard stand trigger, and 4 Elaine, uh, just your heal trigger. And then I run 4 Marvels. He's a draw trigger, plus he has a quite unique effect. Uh, you move this unit from rear guard into soul, and one you can choose a Vanguard or Rear to gain plus 3000 attack. Any other Royal Paladin. So he's a great combo with Alfred. And you could use Margo, and then Young Pegasus Knight will get a boost as well. So there's some quite a few combos you can work out with him. And then I run 4 Little Sage Marins. It's your 8000 grade 1. Uh, pretty basic. She works very well behind Boris and Soul Savior Dragon, especially because then they hit for 21. I run four Pongo. Uh, he's a great 7,000 boost, and he searches out Soul Savior Dragon, which is great. Then I run four Leon. Uh, she basically you can rest this unit, discard one card and draw one card. So if you have a really bad hand, she works really great behind Alfred, and it clears out your hand. Then I run two Young Pegasus Knight. Uh, he gets a plus 3000 boost when a card is moved into the soul. So uh, he can boost for 9000, which is awesome. And then I run three Flash Shields. Uh, just your Null Guard. And then the main grade two of the deck, I run three Blaster Blades. Uh, you know, everyone knows what Blaster Blade does. He's an awesome card and probably your primary grade 2. Now, I run a very low grade 2 count because you're always going to ride to Blaster Blade as long as Barco is still legal. So, it allows you to get, get away with it. I run uh, 11. So, then I run 3 Gordon. He's your special receptor. Uh, he's actually really great. You know, boosted with behind uh, Marin. He hits for 16, so he hits the magic number. That drop at least a 10k shield. And then you can guard with him. I mean, you can intercept, sorry, not guard. So his his uh, skill is pretty good. All special receptors are pretty good in the meta right now. I run 2 a cane. Uh, she gets a lot better in the later sets. Uh, but she's still pretty good. She's an 8,000. And you can kind of blast 2 and search for a high beast. And then I run three Knight of Silence Galton. Probably one of the coolest looking cards in the deck. Uh, 10,000 grade 2. And then for my grade 3 lineup, I run eight. Sorry, seven. Uh, I run one Boris. I might actually run two. He's an awesome card. Uh, I love to have him as a rear guard because with his skill, you can counter blast one, he gets plus 3,000. So then boosted behind. Mirren, he hits for 21, and boosted behind Pongo, or you get 20,000. So it hit the magic number depending on who you're playing and who's the vanguard. Then I run uh, a Solitary Knight Gancelot. Uh, he's an alright card. He gets that Mega Charge if you have you can kind of blast four. But uh, overall, I might actually switch him for a Boris. Let me know what you guys think. I run three Knight of Alfred, and uh, sorry. King of Knights Alfred. Uh, 
probably one of your main grade threes right now. There isn't too many options. But, uh, you know, he can be boosted when he's on the Vanguard. And he gains plus 2,000 for every Royal Paladin. So when you swarm the field, he can hit for 20. And with the Marble Combo, he can hit for 21. And I run two Soul Savior Dragon. Uh, he's an awesome card. You know, I could possibly run three. But since I run four Pongo, I can switch them out. So it basically, it's like running six Soul Savior Dragons because you can find it pretty easy. The odds are highly increased. Uh, this deck is tier one, obviously, because the ability to search out for the cards you need. Uh, there are ways to get around it. And they're always beating it. So um, hit the like, comment down below, subscribe, and check out my other videos. Uh, this is House of Aces signing off.